So, uh, as it says, oh yes, now, as it says then in the uh, introduction to the Bodhisattva's way of life, um, without, uh, as it, um, Shanti Deva says, um, as it says in scripture, without this path, uh, there is no uh, awakening. Uh, that means that without this, this uh, instruction or, or uh, scripture here, referring to the instruction on the uh, perfection of wisdom, the Mahamudra, then without that uh, kind of understand that oh, yeah. realization, then uh, there is no awakening at all. Whether one is speaking of the awakening of a shravaka, a disciple's kind of awakening, uh, uh, the, uh, the awakening of a Pratyeka Buddha, individual realizer, or the awakening of a Bodhisattva. Oh, yeah. Lunga this, so this scripture here is referring probably to this passage in the Perfection of Wisdom Sutras that one finds uh, throughout them in the uh, lesser, the, the, uh, the shorter one, the intermediate one, and the uh, extensive one, where it says that uh, one who wishes to train in the, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, on the level of a, a shravaka or a disciple, then they should uh, train, they should practice this perfection of wisdom. So that indicates, and it continues to refer to the other levels as well. So if one wishes to train in the path of the shravaka, the uh, basic uh, path, or the path of the Pratyeka Buddha or the Bodhisattva path, then it's, it's uh, necessary to uh, practice this uh, perfection of wisdom. Oh yeah, that tender way. And Tiny 
So then this, uh, now we've arrived at the uh, uh, division of the text where it discusses the uh, sutra type uh, portion of Mahamudra, uh, the, the sutra portion of it. And then uh, here there's the uh, sutra system of Mahamudra. With, with respect to that, there are multiple subdivisions, uh, but uh, here the first of these has to do with um, presenting the, uh, um, uh, 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 again, uh, saying why the author is, pre um, uh, is uh, presenting the text, uh, is he, he's uh, making a commitment to compose the text, and he's doing, he does this by means of a uh, correct kind of reasoning. And this uh, is expressed in verse 9 of the translation, where it says that um, uh, <clears throat> formally, the, uh, with respect to the former, that is the uh, sutra system of Mahamudra, then uh, the direct teaching of the three, the uh, uh, extensive, intermediate, and ab abbreviated uh, uh, sutras of the Maha of, uh, perfection of wisdom sutras here, uh, those, the direct uh, teaching of that is the way in which one uh, meditates on uh, emptiness. And uh, other than that, uh, there's uh, the master Arya Nagarjuna says, the supreme Arya Nagarjuna uh, who says that there's no way to accomplish that other than the path. Uh, I'm sorry, that uh, apart from this, um, <clears throat> apart from uh, achieving that, there's, uh, 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 oh, I'm sorry, uh, so, the, so uh, Arya Nagarjuna, the supreme Arya uh, Nagarjuna has said that um, apart from that, there's no other path uh, to liberation. Oh yeah, that kind of is, and maybe Papa Ludu song, that Ludu song, Pachela, and you can't sorry, you are it, you are it. Lion Tinitawa so uh, thus, uh, this is expressed, uh, Arya Nagarjuna explains this uh, throughout his writings, uh, that is whether one is speaking of the, uh, the collection of praises or the collection of the texts which deal with uh, reasoning. Uh, these, uh, they all express the same uh, idea that uh, it's only through uh, development of this uh, perfection of wisdom or Mahamudra, that is the understanding of emptiness, that one, one is able to actualize the path to liberation. So he uh, express, ex, uh, explains this quite clearly in a uh, passage, uh, maybe it's in the uh, 70 verses uh, on emptiness or maybe in, uh, it's the uh, 60 re, uh, verses on Probably, it was either, I think Rinpoche was saying, it's either maybe in the uh, 60 verses on reasoning or in the 70 verses on emptiness, but in any case, probably, probably it's in the 70 verses on emptiness. And it says uh, in that passage that um, <clears throat> the source of all views is like the 
Ani cha cha no ma ma som la sawa tam je ge ani jure si mo je na ma li ju so la ta le chung sawa na si chen. Ro so uh, he says there that all, all the, the cause of all views, and here views is referring in particular to wrong views, uh, different kinds of uh, mistaken, erroneous, uh, completely perverse kinds of views, all of those views, and then likewise, all of the uh, mental afflictions that rise from the various kinds of wrong views, these all uh, have as their source or primary cause the uh, misapprehension of the uh, perishing collection or viewing the aggregates as if they were real, this collection of the aggregates as if it was real, uh, th that uh, view, um, <clears throat> it's translated as the view of the perishable collection sometimes, uh, or uh, viewing the uh, collection of the aggregates as if it was real, it's another way to translate that. So he says there then that, that the source or the cause actually of all the wrong views, the different kinds of wrong views, misunderstanding karma and so forth, as well as uh, the mental afflictions that arise from those wrong views, the uh, desire, hatred, ignorance, and so forth, all of them come from that, uh, are based, have as, as their cause, the uh, wrong view of the collection, uh, this, this mis misapprehension of the collection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So then the remainder of this passage says that uh, somebody who understands that entirely uh, is, uh, will uh, then completely uh, get rid of all of the mental afflictions. Uh, so what that is indicating then is that if one understands this wrong view of this collection, the collection of the, uh, the aggregates as if it was real, uh, whereas it's not, uh, that is seeing, uh, one, one understands that the way it appears uh, is erroneous and the way we apprehend uh, this collection is, is mistaken. And uh, seeing the absence of that, um, uh, the, the, appear, the appearance of it as being real is the object of this wrong view. And realizing that that, um, that, that object, the aggregate says if they were real, is uh, not, does not exist at all. That is, uh, is which is tantamount to saying the, the emptiness of the uh, aggregates, um, the, this collection, is uh, th then once one sees that properly, then one uh, eliminates that, is able to completely destroy it, and uh, likewise, uh, by, uh, as, as a de derivative of that, one is able to destroy and overcome uh, all of the uh, mental afflictions that are based upon that, that view. Oh, yeah. So then if you, and then the verse uh, passage continues, um, if, if you ask, how, how does one understand that? That is, how does one understand that the appearing object, uh, the, the way we apprehend the aggregates, that is this collection, uh, they, they appear to us as being real, but that object, uh, the, the, them appearing as real, which is the object of this misapprehension, uh, is in fact uh, erroneous, and thus uh, it's the, the object of that, um, 
uh, misapprehension of the aggregates is completely non-existent. It doesn't exist in any way whatsoever. That is, the collection of the aggregates as real is in fact a, a non-existent thing. So realizing that, then uh, one again uh, understands that, uh, is it, thoroughly understanding that, one is able to eliminate uh, the basic view itself. The view is uh, the contrary of the apprehension of uh, the wrong view, I should say, is the contrary of this apprehension of the absence of the aggregates uh, existing in the way they falsely appear to us. So once one understands that, one is able to destroy all of the mental afflictions. And then if you ask, how, would, how is one to understand that? Then uh, the one who understands reality has said, uh, so this is referring here uh, to the person who understands reality, the Buddha, has said uh, it's uh, through um, uh, dependent origination and particularly um, through um, the understanding of the dependent designation of things. So dependent origination has uh, multiple connotations or multiple uh, uh, aspects. And uh, one of these is that uh, things d arise in dependence upon causes and conditions. That form of dependent origination is one level of understanding it. And then the uh, d dependent designation is another aspect or another uh, dimension of dependent origination. So the, by understanding particularly the latter, uh, understanding dependent designation as the sense of dependent origination, then one uh, is, um, uh, well, that's, that's, that's the way one understands this correctly, according to uh, the one, the supreme being that understands reality. Oh, yeah, that day, my day, you can tell that they say, and the little show my boy, you are said, well, you know, did I say be a tambour, measure, and a part of little song. Do you go on by saying, tell you go on by saying, and it's other to be cheap or much about that. Same young order cheap be so. So then the, next, well, uh, then the next verse, uh, verse 10 says, here, uh, according to his thought, um, that is according to the way in which it is expressed by Master Nagarjuna, and he's said this in, in all of his texts, there are uh, so many texts that one could cite here, but uh, just mention briefly that one uh, passage. And uh, according to that, I will bestow the uh, guidance in Mahamudra. Um, uh, so, so the author here, uh, Pension uh, Yeshi Gensen, is, is saying that. Losang Chigi Gensen, I should say, sorry. Uh, Pension Losang Chigi Gensen is saying, I will bestow guidance, the guidance in Mahamudra according to his thought, according to Nagarjuna's thought. And um, uh, uh, the, the way in which uh, the way in which uh, the way of uh, introdu introducing one to the to mind, um, uh, 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 I will express according to the way it has been taught by the gurus who possess this lineage, who are members of this lineage. Oh yeah. <laughs> That so as far as uh, this, uh, with regard to those two ways of uh, meditating on Mahamudra, uh, with, refer with respect to the former of these, that is the uh, sutra system of, of meditation, 
Then uh, the direct teaching of the three, that is the uh, ex extensive, uh, intermediate, and abbreviated mother, uh, that mother referring to the Perfection of Wisdom Sutras here, the direct teaching of that is uh, the way in which one uh, cultivates uh, the wisdom that understands emptiness. And uh, here, this is, um, <clears throat> This is the, uh, the, the very, uh, um, this is the very uh, sort of essential uh, life, life force of the path of all three vehicles, as, as mentioned previously, the three vehicles here referring to the uh, Shravaka ve disciples vehicle, the Pratyeka Buddha individual realizers, and the Bodhisattvas vehicles. Um, then, uh, so it's praised in the, the mother itself, the mother of the perfection of wisdom itself. And uh, this, apart from that, uh, apart from the system of uh, practice of meditation, there's uh, some other way of some other uh, way of doing meditation uh, that doesn't accord with that. That is of a different type from this path, which uh, which uh, enables one to progress to uh, liberation. There's no other uh, path such a, that is, that does not accord with this. Uh, Arya Nagarjuna has said. The supreme Arya Nagarjuna has said. Oh yeah, that the little kids from the Sanjana, 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 and then I'm getting it and be Tabi Lamni Chichini, Santa Messi Chawang, eh, said that, or Sanjana, Ra Sanjana, and then Namji, Ra Ranki Chanju Tobala, never ten going gangi, and it tapaki lamde, Tabra lamde carres, and I said, as you part of Chiba Tony Tobi lamde. Any Lanamba so then uh, this is established, the, the fact that there's no other path apart from these, that is no path, any path that does not uh, accord with this way of meditating on the perfection of wisdom, that is understanding emptiness properly, is, uh, is not a path which leads one to liberation. This is expressed by the uh, Supreme Arya Nagarjuna himself in which he uh, says that uh, with respect uh, with respect to the uh, the path f of for liberation which uh, which um, de which definitely has to be re uh, resorted to uh, relied upon by by uh, by uh, individual uh, by by all the forms of awakening beings that is uh, those who are uh, achieving buddhahood uh, those who are achieving uh, that, that refers to the bodhisattvas here, the bodhisattvas who are striving for awakening, uh, the pratyeka buddhas or individual realizers who are striving for their awakening, uh, the shravakas, uh, disciples who are striving for their awakening, the 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 um, path that the the path for liberation that um, one has to follow. Uh, you here in, in Nagarjuna is addressing the Buddha have said is is just one. And uh, that there's and there that there's no other apart from that as well. So this is uh, indicated again in the Perfection of Wisdom Sutras, where it, uh, and uh, there are other um, passages in the scriptures as well, which say that it's it's like uh, it's like the eye for uh, someone who or, or a guide for someone who is um, blind, and uh, leading uh, to lead us to liberation. There's uh, no other way to achieve liberation, whether one's talking about the basic uh, Shravaka vehicle and the Pratyeka Buddha vehicle or the Bodhisattva vehicle. No way to uh, get to liberation without this understanding of emptiness. And uh, it's, it's called perfection of wisdom in the Perfection of Wisdom Sutras. Uh, and although it's the case that uh, the te technically the Shravakas and Pratyeka Buddhas, uh, disciples and individual realizers, 
don't, uh, in a way, pa practice the perfection of wisdom in the sense of doing it conjoined with the other perfections, but they, since they uh, have to cultivate uh, the understanding of emptiness in the same way that it's uh, taught within the perfection of wisdom system, then uh, it's given the name perfection of wisdom as, as it's practiced by them, since the uh, way in which they understand emptiness is, is identical. Oh, yeah. Didn't ตาวะอันนี้ตาวะเตนละเบเตโดลุนะสุบานาชินตาวะเทนละลาบาเตอันนี้งาลามีคันตาวะเตนละพาบาเมเตจิจิเซเบนจิพารุชินดาซังาล
with respect to these. So the last couple lines of this is again to say, uh, if there was a view that was superior to that of what one finds in the perfection system, and uh, that's in the perfection system, we find the explanation of the uh, absence of, of conceptual elaboration as the view, then uh, that if there was such a superior view, then that view would become uh, a view that possesses conceptual elaboration. And uh, since uh, both views, with the view that one finds in the perfection system and the view in the mantra system are uh, both devoid of elabor conceptual elaboration, there's no difference. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dinning I know Yokas, so then uh, this, this is explained that uh, here, uh, it, it, it just as it is, uh, as the, the uh, victor himself, the victorious Buddha himself has prophesied that, uh, that uh, the master Nagarjuna would uh, properly elucidate the definitive meaning. Here, definitive meaning in this context refers uh, particularly to emptiness, uh, that is ultimate reality. Uh, with, and that's the direct uh, subject of the uh, perfection of wisdom sutras, whereas the uh, phenomenal reality is the, is the indirect uh, subject or the uh, implicit subject of the uh, um, uh, perfection of wisdom sutras. The definitive meaning uh, is, is the uh, here emptiness, ult the ultimate reality. Uh, so so the, uh, um, um, Lord, the vict victorious Buddha himself has prophesied that, uh, that uh, the, the protector Nagarjuna would uh, open up the way of this, uh, this system, that is, would serve as a, like a pathfinder or someone who, would, who, is, who reveals a path which has been overgrown uh, is, is uh, that Master Nagarjuna would uh, function in that way so as to uh, elucidate and to reveal the actual meaning of the Perfection of Wisdom Sutras. And then uh, among the followers of uh, Master Nagarjuna, uh, it's just as uh, the Lord Atisha himself, the great Lord Atisha himself has said, um, if you ask, uh, how, does one, how is one uh, to understand emptiness? In what way is one to understand emptiness? Then uh, it's just as it has been prophesied by the Tathagata, by the Buddha, and uh, and and who has uh, seen um, seen reality, uh, the reality of uh, the basic nature of things, uh, and uh, the, he is that is uh, Master Nagarjuna. And, uh, or I should say, it's actually the uh, disciple of the Master Nagarjuna, uh, Chandrakirti, 
who uh, sees uh, the who's seen the reality uh, of of the basic nature of things, and who is also uh, has been prophesied by the Tathagata as well. And uh, so, if uh, if if one uh, follows the instruction which has been transmitted. Uh, from that lineage, that lineage coming from Master Nagarjuna through through his disciple Chandrakirti, uh, and so forth, then uh, it is uh, the view, or it's the correct understanding of this, of emptiness uh, as as it uh, as it um, belongs with, to the Buddhas, as as the Buddhas have taught it, but uh, otherwise not. Uh, so it says that. Um, so this this passage is uh, expresses the same idea that what we find in the um, uh, uh, the praise to dependent origination by J. Tsongkhapa, la gendi dindo dupa dindo dupa lungpu gimendo dindo dupa ti dindo dupa dindo dupa dindo dupa dindo dupa Lutusunukundeta yeah, yeah, tell that. So, so, the, so the basic meaning of the, these verses, a verse from the uh, praise to dependent origination, is that uh, the these these teachings of the master Nagarjuna are like um, a, a a night lily, uh, like the lotuses that only bloom at night, and uh, so these this, this kind of uh, night lily. Uh, which uh, only only uh, is um, blossoms due to moonlight. So the scriptures are like his his teachings are like that, and then uh, the uh, example here is like the like just like uh, a moon a full moon when it's uh, shining from uh, uh, from the in the sky without any kind of clouds uh, any kind of uh, mist or obscurations uh, so that it's shining without any kind of obstruction and able to hit the lotuses uh, the night lilies in, in a lake uh, then uh, the lo those night lilies will open up and blossom so some, the, the way in which we're to construe the the um, metaphor here is that um, the um, scriptures of Nagarjuna are like these night are like night lilies, and it's through the uh, full moon of uh, Chandrakirti. Chandra uh, Chandrakirti, uh, his name means the uh, like the uh, famous uh, uh, famous moon, uh, ha having the fame fame as moon or something like that. Uh, in any case, his name contains Chandra uh, moon within it, so he functions like the uh, moon to open open up uh, the scriptures of Master Nagarjuna. Oh, so uh, Master uh, Chandrakirti then is uh, j just like the way the moon uh, opens up those lotuses. He's also uh, able to, he, he clears away the darkness of extreme views. Uh, so there's the extreme view which holds things as being eternal or the extreme view which holds things as being uh, totally non-existent or annihilationism. Uh, those those extreme views are clarified or dispelled, I should say, dispelled by the uh, light coming from uh, Chand from the moon of Chandrakirti's uh, explanations. Loma Juga Sinemba Serigala Ani Dawaki Ani Loma Juga Sinemba Serigala Dawaki Erki Ani Dugarti Sosiji Namba Tishin Tu. And then, the way they say, 
So then, oh my. likewise, the verse continues that just like the moon uh, outshines and uh, completely uh, o overwhelms the light that comes from the stars, even in a clear night, the stars, uh, if you have the full moon uh, shining, then it, 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 uh, over, it overwhelms the light that comes from those stars. So just like that, um, the uh, light rays that come from Master Chandrakirti's writings uh, overcome all of the erroneous understanding, uh, the sort of uh, ways in which other people explain things which deviate from the uh, true understanding of the uh, perfection of wisdom and so forth, uh, then he, he, his uh, writings function like a moon in that way. So J. Lama Tsongkhapa then is praising Chandrakirti here as being like, like the moon in uh, removing all of the outshining and overwhelming the kind of uh, explanations which come from uh, sort of inferior ways of understanding the perfection of wisdom that is uh, these again th all of the the, the uh, abbreviated uh, intermediate and and extensive uh, perfection of wisdom teachings those uh, uh, others have explained them in ways which deviate from the uh, explanation as it's found by uh, as, it, as it's given by the master Nagarjuna and uh, Chandrakirti's uh, explanations, because they were able to uh, completely remove any kind of uh, the sort of darkness of confusion that has that arises from uh, under, from misunderstanding the perfection of wisdom by following the explanations of those who don't understand it correctly, then uh, Mas Master uh, J. Tsongkhapa is praising uh, Chandrakirti here for having uh, infused his himself with uh, this understanding, correct understanding, through, it was through the uh, study of Master Chandrakirti's writings and uh, the sort of blessings that he derived from those that he was able to gain the correct view and uh, thus he, he praises Master uh, Ch Chandrakirti in that uh, portion of the praise of dependent, dependent origination. Oh yeah, that turned out me, I'm probably going to be a ani so then here, the, then the, the rest of this passage in the, sub, the auto commentary is again presenting this uh, promise to compose the text and the way in which he's going to compose the text is by um, following then the, the intention of the Arya here, Arya Nagarjuna, as it's elucidated by uh, Chandra, uh, Chandra Kirti, and just just in that way, he's going to uh, bestow uh, a, a guidance to a guidance to Mahamudra, uh, the, w the way in which one uh, leads one or guides one into Mahamudra, and uh, that entails um, the the uh, the um, uh, 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 Oh. 
So that's he's, he's, he's saying they're promising to compose the text such that he's um, uh, according as it's explained, just as it's uh, expressed within the uh, precious uh, ex expressions of the noble lamas, the su uh, splendid uh, noble lamas. Here the uh, splendid noble lamas in particular is in reference to his own uh, personal guru, uh, the great master uh, Sangi Yeshe. And uh, then likewise, all of the masters within this lineage, which uh, go back all the way uh, to uh, Vajradhara, as, as we see in the course of the uh, prayer, uh, the prayer of the Mahamudra lineage. And uh, so, so these masters possess, uh, they belong to this lineage, uh, possess th this kind of blessings, uh, ble empowering blessings without any kind of, uh, without any kind of breakage uh, within this. And uh, this has been uh, this has been trans transmitted by uh, noble uh, scholar adepts uh, that uh, in an uh, unbroken lineage down to his own master, and so he's going to express it as he's received it from his own master and transmit it further. And then again, the subject here is or what he's he's going to bestow is um, guidance in Mahamudra and uh, the way in it, which is the way in which one um, uh, introduces someone to mind. Uh, here, introduction to mind is another name for the aspect of uh, introduction here, the, where I'm using, uh, translating as introduction, is like when you meet someone new or someone introduces you to someone new. Uh, it's, it's that kind of introduction, uh, introducing someone to someone, something else. Uh, so the way you introduce uh, uh, someone to mind, and, and th that's referring then to the subjective aspect of Mahamudra, but it, it also includes within, within it the uh, introduction to the objective aspect of Mahamudra, that is uh, emptiness itself. Oh, yeah. That is it. Adinachajachambudakaras Wow. So yeah. then, uh, if you ask, then uh, uh, why, if you're, if you could say, why then is is what? Is, why are you teaching here uh, this? Uh, what, or, or uh, and what is this Mahamudra, uh, so-called Mahamudra? Uh, if you ask that, then it says in the uh, Samadhi Raja Sutra, the Sutra which is the king of meditative concentrations. Um, it says that the uh, nature of all phenomena is Mahamudra. Uh, and, and that statement is, the, uh, uh, is found in the uh, Samadhi Raja, uh, King of uh, Meditative Concentration Sutras. Just as it says, the uh, nature of all phenomena is emptiness. And uh, that's what is indicated here by mudra or seal. Uh, again, Mahamudra tr can tr be translated uh, roughly as great seal. So the seal uh, side of it in this passage is referring to emptiness. And if one understands that, that is the em that emptiness, that seal, then because uh, one will be free from all kinds of misfortune, it is great or supreme. Uh, we, we, uh, here, the glossing on great, uh, great seal or maha is, uh, is that it is uh, uh, supreme. And um, so uh, there's, there's another passage where, uh, of a different text where it says that great uh, can have the connotation of supreme or and, and limitless. Those are two uh, connotations of the word great. Oh, yeah. That didn't it? That 
Any number to be Joe Juba, number to be Joe Tabo Dubje, any or Tumba Nashi. Oh, Betty, do you see any charging Gishi to any consulate to be ta, Tom Mayang, Debu Sunju, any Chamber Topje to any Tumba Tumba, Tumba de Chitang, Joe Tumba Nam Tamji, Luzan Tata, number Eva Kavichi, any stab. So that's uh, now we need to discuss then the ways there are different ways of explaining Mahamudra, and uh, th this is uh, why is it that there are so many different ways of doing this? Well, it's similar to the way in which uh, the teaching of the, the the sage, that is the Buddhist teaching, uh, has appeared in in uh, as as it was transmitted. It was uh, transmitted into 18 different sub schools. Uh, it, it was uh, the the followers of the Lord Lord Buddha uh, divided up into uh, 18 different sub schools. But as far as the uh, res the practices that they employed, so as to achieve the result which they were seeking, that is liberation, they were uh, they were similar. They were they were similar in, in most respects. So just like that, um, uh, the, although it is the case that there are lots of different philosophical views uh, which express the ways in which Mahamudra is expected accepted by uh, various masters, as far as the uh, it, it, they're t these are all taught uh, in common or similarly so as to function as the uh, means of obtaining the uh, the w w the result which one is seeking, which is uh, the uh, Mahamudra as the state of integration. Um, that the word I'm using uh, here, integration, is uh, sometimes translated as union. Uh, it's translated in various ways, but I'm using the word integration here uh, to translate that. So uh, that that uh, Mahamudra, which is integration, um, uh, these are all taught. Uh, in a similar fashion. So that's one reason uh, that they, they're, although there are all these different kinds of ways of explaining it according to different philosophical views, uh, they have a similarity that they function as an, a means of attaining Mahamudra. And then on the other hand, uh, there's another uh, reason in which the author, uh, Pension Lo Sang Chigen, is explaining it here, which is that, um, uh, uh, so, so that, uh, so that the per someone who wishes to understand these things properly, uh, all of the variety of ways of explaining Mahamudra uh, can be, uh, someone can become properly educated in uh, all of the subdivisions uh, that, uh, that one finds within all of these good systems which have been transmitted down by uh, noble beings. Oh, yeah. That is not. This is not what I said. Subject to last year, you got up. Oh, my dear, do you see me? Oh, that don't you come to the tele shampi, tapi lam, measure, pajot, no drug apps, soon, that you teach it. Then, do you go on by saying, charge it to be cheap body, some more to be. え、Charging so then uh, when, here when we're, we're looking at the verses which uh, express the uh, author's intention to compose the text, 
as, as we've uh, read them above, where, uh, in verses 9 and 10, uh, where it says that uh, the, with regard to the former, that is the sutra system of Mahamudra, uh, it is the way in which one meditates on emptiness, the direct uh, thing that is directly taught in the uh, extensive, intermediate, and abbreviated forms of the perfection of wisdom of uh, uh, perfection of wisdom sutras, and there's no uh, path to liberation apart from this. Uh, that's the statement of the Supreme Arya, Master Nagarjuna. And here, uh, this word here, uh, uh, according to his uh, idea, his ideas, his thought, that is the thought of the Master uh, Nagarjuna, Supreme Master Nagarjuna, I will uh, bestow uh, the uh, in guidance in uh, Mahamudra and uh, the, w the way in which one introduces one uh, another person to mind uh, according to the way it's expressed by the gurus that belong to this, to the lineage of this. So where it says here, that word here within uh, the uh, verse uh, 10, at the beginning there, th this has to be um, exp exp understood properly that, that um, <clears throat> here Master, uh, the Pension Losong Chingen, Chingen is saying that uh, with, uh, that uh, there's just just as he said previously, that is without um, relying upon the uh, the understanding of the perfection of wisdom of s sutras, as Master Nagarjuna has explained them, uh, without th without that kind of understanding, there's no path to liberation. Uh, he says that the, uh, that the the sub commentary here says that here uh, by understanding what the the meaning of the the word here that um, that uh, uh, oh uh, that that it's not certain we have to be careful because it's not certain that um, other ways of uh, exp of guiding one to uh, Mahamudra. Uh, uh, may, other ways of doing it may not be, uh, it's not certain that they uh, possess uh, yeah. 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 So, so where he says here, that word here can be understood as having a sort of implicit force within it that other ways uh, apart from the way it's expressed or the way it's explained here uh, within this uh, text, uh, it's not uh, one, it's difficult to have certainty that, um, the, that the lineage of that is pure and that it possesses the blessings that are transmitted down from the Master Nagarjuna's lineage. So if one is uh, uh, seeking, uh, um, is seeking the, uh, <laughs> So I'm, I'm struggling with the syntax of this sub commentary here. I apologize. Uh, um, here, he's, he's uh, the uh, sub-commentator, uh, uh, Ketsong Rinpoche, is saying that uh, that specification of the word here uh, in the uh, root text indicates that Penchen Losong Chigin is saying implicitly, not explicitly, but implicitly, that uh, other uh, systems of, uh, of explaining uh, Mahamudra, that is, the other ways of uh, providing guidance in, in Mahamudra, uh, may not, uh, it's, it, it's difficult to be certain that they possess uh, a pure lineage of transmission of the way in which one should seek Mahamudra as it's expressed by the Master Nagarjuna. 
and uh, that they possess likewise pure blessings of that lineage, it's, it's difficult to be certain with respect to that. And if one doesn't have those two, that is the correct way of explaining uh, Mahamudra, uh, the uh, proper method of explaining how one seeks uh, and understanding the, the thought of the master Nagarjuna, and one doesn't have the uh, blessings of a pure lineage of transmission of that, if you don't have that, then uh, since it will not, you will not be able to achieve the uh, objective that you have, that is uh, the attainment of uh, liberation, then uh, it's appropriate that one should uh, engage in the practice of just this uh, specific way of explaining it as, as it's given in this text. So he has, uh, uh, according to Mas uh, oh, yeah. Master Keotsong, he said that um, Pension Lo Song Chugin has, has expressed this in, an, uh, in a non-obvious way or implicitly in, within this statement. Oh, oh yeah. Tatanda so then, uh, that's, that's then uh, thus here, where, uh, he identifies that which is to be explained uh, within the context of this, within this particular text and this uh, system of explanation. And uh, the, the reason uh, for that it needs to be explained, he's explained that, uh, expressed that as well. And he's also um, ex uh, stated here in the text uh, the way in which that is to be explained. Those three uh, are included here within the, uh, exp the uh, promise to compose the text that we've just uh, gone over, that is in verses nine and 10. And uh, likewise then, um, uh, no, no. So those three. So those he also he also uh, then we also should um uh uh so, yeah. uh, so he said, uh, he likewise said that then uh, likewise those who wish to listen to this should do, should uh, understand it in exactly that and, and as having exactly that nature uh, by way of the, the reasons that have been expressed above and in that way as well, uh, the fashion that has been, exp uh, the manner that's been expressed above, uh, one sh the disciples, uh, people who listen to this teaching should uh, form a, uh, make a promise to practice it in accordance with uh, the three things that we've just discussed, that is, uh, but that had been, that's expressed within the uh, author's own promise to compose. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it, the castor. You are, she's with the letter, and it is, and I, and you, 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 so some mindo mana yang statu yaki tini mana yang ngwede lungri kel kel an shin si ngwede ten ane o narangi o lungdang ane cha cha ten la cha cha chobo ten la pe ba la ri ba ri ba la kel shin nyam nyo jian jin nan jo ba ge ane a ka so re jian na ane gong ba ji tu pa ba re so then the so the, the, the root, root text then uh, cont uh, continues here saying uh, that uh, there are lots of different names, uh, various, uh, various uh, names, different names have been uh, applied, uh, given to this, uh, this uh, practice and this uh, tradition. Uh, for example, there's uh, the uh, Sahaja Yoga, uh, the, uh, which um, uh, translates as the uh, yoga 
what would the, uh, that which is um, conate, uh, is the way I'm translating uh, sahaja here, uh, uh, born together with yoga, the yoga w with that of that which is born together with. Uh, there's the amulet, uh, amulet tradition. There's the tradition uh, of, that possesses five. Uh, the the uh, tradition which uh, harm is uh, equalized into a single taste. Uh, the four letters. The uh, tradition of pacification. Uh, the, the tradition of uh, uh, cutting off the object. Uh, the uh, cutting off practice. The uh, great perfect, uh, great perfection. And then, likewise, uh, the uh, guidance, guidance in the view of the middle way. Uh, those. Oh, no. So, so each of these will be explained in some some detail uh, later as we go along. And uh, if, if if although there are many different names that are attributed that are given to this, then if uh, one is. Um, learned in both the uh, scripture and the reasoning of the d of definitive meaning and uh, someone ha has is a, a yogi or yogini who has experience with respect to this uh, such such a person if they examine them they would they would find that they come down uh, to a single uh, single intention or a single thought so that's just the the verse the verses there oh yeah I'll, I'll explain this in some detail as we go along. Ani Ani so then, uh, with respect to the, um, uh, it's, it's called uh, union with that which is conate. Uh, that ex that uh, tradition of explanation it follows uh, the uh, master uh, uh, um, here uh, is, is explained uh, in, in by the master uh, 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 Gambova, and uh, that uh, within that. Um, uh, the, the way in which one uh, guides the disciples. I'm just going to give a kind of brief uh, uh, explanation of this. That is uh, a kind of an overview, rough overview of this. That is, uh, the, uh, within that tradition uh, of explanation, then uh, dharmakaya is born together with mind. That is, uh, so here when I say, con I'm using the term kone, born together with, uh, dharmakaya is born together with mind. Uh, this is referring then again to the uh, the understanding of the uh, conate mind of uh, cons uh, constant mind of conate luminosity is uh, born together with mind uh, wherever mind arises. So since that's given the name Dharmakaya, it uh, it, it appears wherever mind arises, and uh, it's 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 uh, another name of that, or the um, metaphor which is used for that is that it's like the ocean, uh, that that uh, mind. And so then uh, the next part of this is that uh, thought uh, is, is born together with, um, uh, the, when thought arises within the mind, it's like the waves on the uh, surface of the ocean uh, stirring it up. And then uh, appearance is born together with us, uh, is like the light rays of the dharmakaya. Uh, so, so that uh, is, is similar to the way, like when the ocean is stirred up by thought uh, and the light of, uh, it glitters on the surface of it, then uh, it's, it's, uh, it's explained in a similar way or the analogies here. And uh, then, uh, again, the 
So then, uh, so so appearance and mind being indivisible, that is, is is here that which is conate, uh, that is they're born together. Appearance and mind are born together, and and thus are conate. And this is all uh, by way of explaining uh, the same thing that we we saw already in the uh, Perfection of Wisdom Sutra. That is that the uh, nature of mind is uh, luminosity. The uh, mind is by nature uh, luminous. Oh, yeah, Tilly. Thank you, dear you, said the sunset. Coma said it. I need none of Yama, Yagam, any car Yagam, Maga, Matavas, now at that Toba in your day. Any we've come, Madrava, soon to Java. Any day, any care to Tumbo in Luigi. Any new to do, new. Chudruga <laughs> Namaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramaskaramask
Kaji, Nasi so this uh, instruction then uh, of uh, joining or explaining appearance and emptiness uh, such that they're not uh, separated from one another, uh, again, uh, it, it, this goes back uh, to probably a statement of uh, Param uh, Lord Parampasange where he says that um, uh, the, uh, um, the uh, appearance uh, of everything, that is, uh, whether one's talking about uh, samsara, uh, existence, or, or peace, the nirvana, all of that is like uh, a magical illusion, like a dream. And uh, if we understand this statement according to the way it would be expressed, uh, uh, as the way it would be interpreted within our Gilugba tradition, then we would say that all phenomena, that is everything that exists within samsara, all of the phenomena that exist within the realm of peace, uh, up to inclu including Buddhahood, are uh, like magical illusions, like uh, d like dreams, in that uh, although they appear as if they they exist uh, uh, in the way they appear to ordinary beings as if they're existing by means of their own intrinsic nature, that's that's what's meant by appearing as if they were real. Uh, existing autonomously from their, uh, objectively from their own side, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, however, since they, they don't possess that kind of um, quality or, or character anyway whatsoever, uh, primordially they're devoid of that, that sort of character existing uh, as, as they appear to ordinary beings uh, by means of their own intrinsic nature. Therefore, uh, the, these, uh, these phenomena, all of them, uh, whether they we're talking about ordinary phenomena uh, the, of, of the worldly, worldly sorts, sorts of phenomena or the uh, transcendental phenomena that of uh, the awakened beings, they are completely, uh, uh, again, primordially without any kind of uh, possessing that kind of character, and therefore um, uh, they're they're all like magical illusions or dreams. Oh yeah, Anne so the, these, uh, thus, uh, because these, uh, th all the phenomena that exist within existence as well as uh, beyond existence, the transcendental realm of uh, liberation and, and Buddhahood and so forth, uh, those are like magical illusions and dreams. Uh, and and uh, th there's a f first part of the statement uh, uh, by uh, Parambasangi where he says that they are uh, self-liberated. Uh, self-liberation here is understood as that, again, primordially they're devoid of the kind of intrinsic existence or uh, the sort of real being that is falsely attributed to them by uh, ordinary kinds of beings. So that's uh, one side of it, that they're uh, 
self-liberated indicates that, that that primordial nature of things being devoid of intrinsic existence. Then on the other hand, they appear like, uh, like dreams and magical illusions. That is, uh, that uh, just like um, within a dream, something appears as if it's real, uh, we think it's a real person or a real uh, thing, whatever we are seeing in the dream when we're uh, completely enveloped in that dream, uh, but it doesn't exist as it appears in that dream. Or similarly, the way um, uh, magical illusions, they appear like real horses and elephants, uh, but they're in fact uh, something that's only been conjured up by a magician by employing uh, special kinds of um, substances or mantras and such. Uh, by in sort of a casting a spell over uh, some kind of uh, basis, uh, something that's used for as the basis for conjuring up the illusion. Uh, th those things appear as if they're real, but uh, they're actually not real. Uh, that is, they appear as if they exist by means of their own intrinsic nature uh, autonomously, or uh, that they have some kind of intrinsic being or objective existence, but in, in fact, they're completely empty of that kind of intrinsic nature, and thus they're like magical illusions and dreams. Oh, yeah, didn't I? I knew Cassidy. Nothing under the mom, Milam, she never can put in Jamia, but nay, say, I dig it. Any another quantity, you chew Tamja, a ranching you to a tombi. Any Nelu Tomba, the Tiny, and it's in Danga, you do chow, me, but Chede, Gombala, Tene, Any or Rajang Lungu, you are. Roger so then once one is understood that the way in which um, these uh, phenomena of, of ordinary existence or the transcendental realm of awakening have, uh, in fact, are de uh, devoid of any kind of intrinsic nature. That is, the, the things appear to us as if they had this kind of intrinsic uh, uh, autonomous quality, they, as if they existed on, on their own uh, with, uh, intrinsically. Uh, however, we, once we understand that the object of that uh, misconception of things as being real is completely non-existent, the uh, realization of the non-existent of uh, non-existence of that object of the uh, mistaken apprehension of things as being real is itself then uh, an understanding of emptiness. Once we have that understanding of emptiness uh, and uh, and see things uh, as if they're like magical illusions and dreams, then uh, we're able to enter into the practices uh, that entail um, the. Uh, uh, moving the uh, vital energies within the body from, uh, instead of having them moving throughout the uh, left and right channels within the subtle body, we're able to cause them to enter into the uh, central channel within the subtle body, and uh, they're able, that once you do that, then these, uh, mov the movement of those winds, once the wind has, uh, the vitality and so forth has entered into the central channel, it's, uh, once you've inserted it in there, then it's able to you cause it to remain, it dissolves, and then uh, once that occurs, then the uh, uh, great bliss, the conate great bliss arises using that uh, conate great bliss uh, as, a sub, uh, as a quality of the subjective perceiver here, then one uh, uses, takes emptiness that one's already ascertained uh, as one's object and then uh, does the meditation in that way. Oh, yeah. And 
so then once you've actualized that uh, conate uh, bliss, uh, that gnosis of uh, conate great bliss, then uh, one takes as one's object emptiness, as discussed uh, previously, that is, uh, the emptiness here is a, a simple negation. It's uh, the simple lack of intrinsic existence that uh, ordinary beings falsely attribute to things. And uh, that emptiness, uh, once one's ascertained that uh, previously, one is able to use it as an object for meditation practice. When one has uh, developed this uh, gnosis of great bliss uh, through the practice of uh, inserting the uh, energy winds within the central channel. Then uh, taking that emptiness as the object here, eventually uh, one uh, gains a uh, direct real, uh, realization of it, understanding of it such that uh, it w in, uh, within the context of that, uh, real, that understanding or realization, there's uh, no uh, phenomenal things at all appear. That is, it's free from all kinds of conceptual elaboration. And thus, what appears is, is a simple uh, a kind of a clear uh, vacuity, uh, which is itself that negation, the uh, non, uh, simple negation, which is the absence of intrinsic existence. Oh, yeah. Tandasi Anita so th thus, uh, that's the way this is explained then within the uh, lineage of from Shang, uh, the the, uh, the lineage of instruction from Shang. Uh, the chief of these has comes down then from it's within the it's basically the way in which uh, one develops this understanding of luminosity uh, in, here referring to emptiness as a subject uh, object and the subjective perceiver uh, in the state of uh, Kone great bliss that gnosis uh, the two uh, is is what's expressed within that uh, and and uh, so that's the uh, primary sort of uh, it's the way in which one primary way in which one uh, develops and meditates upon luminosity within the uh, six uh, doctrines that are taught here within also chief is the chief one among the uh, amulet uh, tradition as well so then, then uh, turning to the uh, the tradition which is called uh, fivefold uh, having five um, uh, five aspects uh, here, this is the uh, comes down through the uh, lineage from uh, the uh, masters of the Dakpo, uh, Dakpo lineage, and, and uh, it, it comes down. Uh, it's been transmitted through masters down to uh, Jigten Gumbo uh, and so forth, and uh, it, you find that the root of that within their uh, basic within within his collection of uh, songs as well. And oh yeah. Tambaja 
So the, these, uh, then if we go down, uh, that was just uh, kind of a, a mention of that uh, tradition, uh, different ways of, uh, of meditating on uh, luminosity and, and so forth within that. Then uh, there's uh, six, the six uh, cycles of the equal taste, uh, literally, uh, where, where the uh, sort of uh, the um, taste has been equalized uh, together. Um, th there's a way in which one takes uh, whatever thoughts, uh, whatever thought arises, uh, bring that, make that part of the path uh, by taking mental afflictions as the path, by taking uh, sickness as the path, by taking uh, gods and demons as the path, and then uh, taking suffering that arises uh, and making that uh, the path, and then likewise uh, taking a death as the path. So the, uh, the, there's a similar kind of meaning uh, with this as what we find it also in the Guru Puja, where it's, uh, it says that um, wh whatever arises uh, for me, uh, whatever b bad things may occur, please uh, bless me to be able to, uh, to bring them into the path. Whatever kinds of misfortune may befall me, sickness, whatever, uh, that, that's uh, the, on the, basically on the same uh, kind of uh, trend as, as what one finds here within this instruction of the uh, equalization of the, the taste of things. Uh, taking, it, it comes down to essentially taking uh, misfortune or any kind of uh, difficult sort of conditions that one encounters and uh, bringing them into the path. Oh yeah, that, that's how you so, <laughs> 